Good morning. This is Barbara from Queens Avenue, Taro. My daughter's on the other end of the house studying today, so um, I can speak normally. Um, we still don't know anything more about Biden's pick. Um, coronavirus is still raging. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, Donald Trump, of course. Um, you guys have, of course, heard of the uh, seven deadly sins, right? Um, they are. And this is him to a T. Pride, lust, gluttony, sloth, wrath, envy, and greed. Have you seen that video where he's like, I'm greedy. I'm so greedy. I want all the money. Oh, my God. And he's prideful, and he's envious, and he's wrathful, and he sits around in his bathrobe till 11 before he goes downstairs to go to work. He's a sloth, and he's full of McDonald's cheeseburgers, and he's, he's, he's just so gross. And he's so gross because he is the definition of every one of those seven deadly sins. I mean, the opposites of those are the seven virtues, which are chastity, temperance, charity or generosity, diligence, patience, gratitude, and humility. And not one of those things, not one of those does he have at all. <laughs> I don't know how somebody gets so uh, messed up, but I guess Mary tried you know, pretty much put it on paper and published it in her book. Uh, you know, and I think it was Whimsy who said she when she did a remote viewing on him that um, she thought that he was probably uh, physically uh, abused uh, before he was even verbal. So, uh, two, two years old, Maybe he was throwing a little tantrum and somebody whacked him. You know, that's not, it's not okay. Just not okay. Um, before he was even verbal. So, you know, in a lot of ways, I feel sorry for the guy because he is so messed up. But I don't feel, I, and I feel way sorry for us. And I want him gone. And I, I think he should. Uh, I think he should pay for his sins, if they're illegal. That is, one way or the other, he'll pay for his sins. So um, I'm still feeling like Kamala Harris is going to be the VP, and um, that Susan Rice will be. The Secretary of State, and and that Val Demings will be uh, Attorney General. Wouldn't that be great? I would love her. She would be great. So, um, by the way, I have these really cool cards. They're Trisha Newell cards. They were pub published in uh, 1986. They're they're really great cards. I I love these. I love these cards, but here's the three of swords because it was on the bottom. Wow, you can't see them very well. And I used these cards for years and years and years, and I, I decided today to count them. And you know what? I'm missing one. So I, uh, I went online to see if I could find another deck like this, which would be kind of silly. I don't want a whole deck. They're like $200. The book is, there. I saw books in there for this deck that were like, a thousand dollars, which is, you know, somebody just uh, trying to uh, gouge somebody else. So anyway, so I, I went on eBay and I thought, well, maybe I can find an old deck and I, I can, um, you know, just give it. Do you know that there's somebody on there that actually sells single cards? And I, uh, she said all I'm out of it is the night of, uh, and she sells for different decks, single cards. Um... So all I'm out of is the Knight of Swords. It doesn't have to be new because this is not a new deck. It's pretty worn. I guess, you know, there's a lot of glare on my 
cards like this, but I'm in my I'm in my bedroom and it, the lighting has never been great in here. But so anyway, I'm gonna have a new Knight of Swords to fill this deck. Yay! So and I have a lot of other decks, but um, I like the, these are the Rider Way and this 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 is called the Mystic Tarot deck, and I really really like them. And the, the other old standby is Rider Way. Um, so I'm going to use those until, uh, until I get my Knight of Swords back. And I can't even imagine where it is. I mean, I asked, I've moved a couple times, and I asked my pendulum, is it in this house? And, uh -uh. no. So, anyway, um, Trump is going to leave. Biden's going to be ready to go day one. And he's going to have all his people in place. He's got, everybody's going to have their jobs lined out. Um, he's going to be ready to go day one. And as far as um, the post office, I, I don't think that's going to fly. Because A, it's illegal. And um it's, it's illegal for him to stop the mail or mess with the mail. I mean, it's a federal offense, so, you know. Um, so, um, I'm still trying to keep my kid out of school. I mean, she's... God, they're going on me. She's out of school. Um, she's not happy about it. Um, and she feels like she's missing out a lot, and she probably is. Um, but I'm working with the tech person, and so the other parents, there's like 12% of her school is at home, remotely. Um, so they really want to get it right, and they don't want, you know, they don't want her to fall behind. I forgot my earrings. Um, so I, I've been thinking about um, Pence, too, and uh, Pence, he's just going to go away. And I don't care where he goes to. And I just hope he doesn't come back to Indiana because, you know, he's kind of a jerk. Um, Dr. Fauci, he's going to be fine. Nobody's going to hurt him. Somebody's calling me. I get so many spam calls. I have to block them all. And, and you know, somebody was talking about Trump leaving the country. And um, I don't think he's going to go to... Uh, I don't... I think if he goes out of the country... and runs off and leaves the country. Um, I don't think he's going to go to Russia. I feel like he's going to go to France. Um, although the French people don't much like him either. But um, the thing about French is that I don't know that they can extradite him from France. I know they can't extradite a French citizen, but I don't know. Um... And I can't see, I can't, I can't see him going to Saudi Arabia. I mean, who, who will want to live there with a murderous prince? I don't know. What will probably happen is that government's going to take over his properties. I've always thought that. I've always thought, you know, when you get, have, I go on this auction things sometimes and um, look at C's assets because you can get really good deals on C's assets sometimes. Um, that's what's going to happen to his properties. All of his properties. All the gold uh, what is it called? Uh, the gold leaf furniture and all that kind of crap. I mean I wouldn't want to have it. I don't, my stuff isn't like that. I don't, I don't want any of that gold leaf stuff. How pompous. Um, but they're going to be seized assets, and they're going to take all their Chanel bags and their Louis Vuitton bags, and they're going to take their uh, Jimmy Choo shoes and sell them. I mean, you know, I follow these auction sites, and they're, they're Louis Vuitton wallets, you know, or purses or trunks or whatever, and they're seized assets because these people have all this illegal money, and they go out and buy all this really, really expensive crap, and then they get it all taken away from them because they're doing something illegal. So, um, did you guys see my, uh, 
my Mercy videos. That cat, I'm telling you. She's put a couple of little holes. I've caught her cup uh, trying like to chew on it. This, oh, 